Before we start, you guys, drop a like down below and also comment anytime throughout the episode if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns. What's going on, YouTube? So I just want to get straight into this episode because I feel like this one should be a little bit more on the educational side rather than the entertainment. So I'm going to kind of skip over some of the fluff here. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about them and how they can tie back into making more money with your photography. But without further ado, you guys, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about three tips that helped me make my first dollars with photography. Uh, these are all things that pushed me into making money with it. And I want to share those with you because they're actually very simple and it could lead you to the path to making money with photography. So, you know, if this is something that you guys are into or if you want to maybe potentially see photography as a career for yourself in the future, you're going to want to make sure to stick to this episode because I'm going to go over some of the things that helped me make my first dollar in photography. Let's go. All right, you guys, so it's been a minute since I've done a Talking Cat episode here, uh, but like I mentioned, I wanna skip over the fluff and just talk about the three tips. Now, honestly, I could have named this video title like a hundred different things. I could have just said three tips that help boost my photography or three tips that help elevate my photography. But in all honesty, these three tips are gonna directly talk about representation and how you present yourself to the world of clientele. Um, as a photographer, especially if you are a younger photographer, you know, a lot of us are self-made. We're, we're just trying to do what we love and hopefully make money with it. Even though, you know, photography doesn't make me a killing, there are times where photography does bring me some money in and I wanna share my tips on how I got to that point in today's episode. All right, you guys, so when it comes to presenting yourself to a client, one of the most important things to have on your body at all times is some sort of business card or portfolio. Now, it's pretty simple nowadays. You know, making a business card is actually really cheap. So check this out. This is from Staples. You guys know the store Staples. Essentially, you could upload a design onto the website. They have templates for different business cards and you can get like 500 of these for like 15 bucks. And I mean, you know, you have business cards for days. Anytime I go out to a shoot or if I'm just going out to hang out with some friends, I will always leave the house with this thing right here. And this is just a little card case that can hold a ton of different business cards. Now, it seems old fashioned, like, you know, Jonathan, why would you even want to have a business card to start with? Uh, isn't that a little bit old school? Well, let me tell you guys something. Over the past weekend, I shot a wedding. And one thing that I noticed was the majority of the people there were older. It was all like aunts, uncles. One thing we got to realize, though, is that, you know, just because as a younger generation starts to move towards a digital age, not everyone's going to adapt that quickly. And so having a business card is a tangible way for you to present yourself to a potential client. And this is again why it's important, why I brought up the wedding. During the wedding, I was able to connect with a ton of people. I gave some business cards away. They asked me kind of like, you know, where I'm based out of. And it's always really nice to just pull this thing out of your pocket. Hi, this is my card. You know, if you have any questions or any ideas, you can contact me through there. A business card allows your client to have access to you directly from the photographer creator themselves. And the reason why this is also important is because if you meet other professionals like I did on the job, then you can exchange business cards with them. And like, check this out. This was just from this weekend. I'm not gonna show their businesses here, but when you connect more different professionals and you meet more people in the field, you're gonna get a lot more gigs and opportunities to strive with those new partners. So it's always good to have a business card ready. You never know when someone might be looking for a photographer and you can jump in take the initiative and hand them your card. So that is my first piece of advice. If you wanna potentially start making money with photography, one of the best ways to always be prepared and be presentable is to have your own business card. Now, the second tip that I really think everyone should take advantage of is just going to mirror the first one. As much as you wanna have a tangible presence to represent yourself in person, you also need to have a digital avenue for people to discover and reach you for inquiries. What are the best ways to do this? Well, folks, it's exactly what we're doing right now. Social media and your own personal website. Now, social media is huge because not only do you get to put on, you know, some of your best photos and highlight your best photos on a platform like Instagram, for example, right? You're also getting the opportunity to digitally network with other photographers and maybe potentially even clients. You know, I feel like social media nowadays is huge when it comes to photography. A lot of the work that I get comes from social media, uh, then that moves over into like an email conversation. But the, the catalyst really for, you know, getting jobs and gigs started, they tend to start with Instagram. But you kind of get the gist of everything. You know, social media is the hub for 
all types of interaction, discovery, advertising, you know, it's, it's all on social media. But something that will honestly set you apart from everyone just using the social media websites is to create your own dedicated online website. And I wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to our sponsor for today's episode, the good folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Creating your own online website apart from your online social media can help elevate and separate your own photography business. Now, one of the best things about Squarespace is they give you award-winning templates that you can use to get started within minutes. You have the option to build a portfolio page, an e-commerce shop for any prints that you want to sell. But most importantly, if you are a content creator, you do photography and video, there is now a dedicated video page, which allows you to upload all video content either directly through a YouTube link or on to your website. So if you guys wanna get started with your own personalized website today, head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes and enter promo code kingjapes at checkout. You guys can get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or a website. Huge, huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. Now I gotta clarify, you know, before we move on to the next thing, uh, just because we did have a Squarespace bit in this episode, uh, I, that's not the only reason why I'm including that tip. Honestly, having your own personalized website can help set you apart because going back to those business cards, a lot of people nowadays will put a QR code that links them over to their website. That in itself is a direct way for your clients to not only just see your portfolio, your about me page, the commission statement, but on top of that, you also get the opportunity to help book your clients directly through you. Social media can be a scary place, like especially Instagram, it's so competitive. Sometimes you wanna isolate yourself and one of the best ways to do that, like I said, was with your own website. So that is something to get on. If you don't have any social media, uh, first start with that. But once you have social media, definitely create your own website. All right, and last but not least, you guys, the last tip that helped me make my first dollars in photography is to network. Now, as a photographer, you're also a working professional. So just because photography can be mostly a digital thing, like it just mostly exists online, when it comes down to photographing for clients, you're actually in person with them. So eventually there is going to be some sort of face-to-face -face interaction. Now, the reason why networking is critical for somebody out there who wants to make money with photography is because networking is the hub for you getting random gigs. And uh, I say this with, all confidence. I'll have the, the shoots that I get from like inquiries and whatnot, but also there's a portion of the people that I get that come from referrals from people that I know. So, you know, if you go around and you market yourself as a photographer to all of your family, to all of your friends, to your friend's family, these people will start to kind of know you as, hey, he makes photos. But networking as a photographer is a little bit different because when you wanna network as a photographer, yeah, you wanna meet a ton of different people and kind of see what they do and see if you guys have opportunities for each other. But one thing you need to make sure when you're networking as a photographer is to get it across that you offer these services. And if you build rapport with certain people and they end up trusting you in the end, they see the products that you're making and they like what you're doing hey maybe they work in tech or maybe they're an accountant and one of their co-workers has a party and says hey i need to hire a photographer and probably nine times out of ten the person that you developed a relationship with that you networked with is going to recommend you because not only do they trust you as your work but you built enough rapport with them for them to be able to use you as a referral you maybe you've you know photographed them in the past and that's kind of how the referral system works. So networking is key. Try to network with other photographers, maybe videographers. You know, videographers always get hired with photographers. Me personally, I like to network a lot with my family's close friends. So uh, people that we've known for years and years and years, despite their occupation, you know, those people, if they know that I offer these services are going to spread the word on my services. So networking is critical. And along with the other two tips, you guys, this can really help boost your photography to the max and potentially can make you your first dollars, man. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this episode or if there are any other things you could add uh, for maybe beginner photographers looking to start making money with photography. You know, it's never easy trying to get into something like this. And uh, even though I don't make a killing with my photography, I really enjoy what I do with it. And it's just super fulfilling to be able to photograph different families, different people, and uh, kind of bring their moments into life. So. That's gonna wrap it up for me. I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, Minolta Gang. Whew.